hey guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i have a little get ready with me slash makeup tutorial because i don't know how to do get ready get ready get ready with me's because like i end up just like telling the products and like narrating the whole makeup and then it turns into like a makeup tutorial but today i did like this little natural glam look um so if you guys want to learn how i did it chat a little bit then keep on watching guys it was just a whole process to get this whole filming set up um i hope my double chin's not showing and i hope the lighting is okay but basically my little mount for my phone that i was going to use um just broke right before i was going to film this so i was trying to fix it for the longest and then i was like you know what whatever so i currently have you guys sitting on top of a bunch of makeup palettes um <laughs> that's my tripod i got my coffee though so it's all good we are about to do a little get ready with me um so i'm really excited because i have a couple of new things that i want to try with you guys on camera i have already tried some of these things off camera but i like tried to film a get ready with me not too long ago with the things um but it was kind of like a flop so we're trying again we're doing it different get ready with me i'm wearing um my red robe well this is actually my mom's but i'm wearing it because it's silk first of all second of all it's the month of love so you know we had to wear some red and it just makes me feel so fancy like luxurious i don't know <laughs> My robe is really ugly, so I wanted a cute one for this video. So I, one of the first new things that I got were these creaseless clips from Amazon Prime, of course. It's like, um, I will link these below if you guys are interested. But basically, there's clips that don't leave marks in here when you get ready, which I appreciate. I've already used these like once, and they didn't leave any marks. So I can vouch for them and leave the link below. My nail is like completely chipped on my thumb. Well, not completely, but it's getting there. I'm going in with my moisturizer. First of all, this one's from 4.3 Beauty. It's the lightweight hydrator. I really like their products because they're designed to work with makeup because they're a sister company of ColourPop. Which if you guys have never tried ColourPop, you need to stop what you're doing and go buy some stuff from them. Because they're literally, all their products that I've tried so far are amazing. Um, So this, this moisturizer works really well as a base underneath of your makeup. I'm like making this into a makeup tutorial when it's supposed to be get ready on me. Let me update you guys on my life. So I've been obsessively... If I don't mention... So if I don't mention any products like in the video, they'll all be linked down below. Just in case you guys have any questions. So I've been obsessively shopping um, on like wholesale websites as well as like Shein and Romwe and all of those. Which basically should be wholesale websites because they're so cheap. Um, But I've been on AliExpress two i'm trying to find outfits for my birthday trip to miami which i'm going march 18th to the 25th for those of you that were wondering my birthday is march 24th i will be turning 21 years old um and yeah i'm really excited to be going to miami if you guys see me looking over here that is because my mirror is here my lighting the lighting in my room is really bad too so Hopefully my makeup turns out all right. I'm about to film um a Valentine's Day lookbook after this video. So yeah, I'm just trying to do like a light little glam. Nothing too heavy just because I don't really have time. And it's just for that video, you know what I mean? So it doesn't need to be anything too dramatic. But anyway, so I've been obsessively shopping on those websites because I'm trying to find cute outfits. And I feel like when you online shop so much, like you start to become more picky and then you're like, oh, I don't really want any of this. And then you're like, can I find it for cheaper somewhere else? And yeah, so I haven't, I've yet to place an order and I know those websites take a long time for 
um, their stuff to get to you. Um, so I need to get on that ASAP. I'm trying to make my eyebrows look decent though because like this is kind of your focal point of the face. When the brows look good, I feel like the rest of the makeup follows if that makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and finish filling in my eyebrows and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I just finished filling in my brows. So now I'm going to clean them up with concealer. I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Um, I hope I can do this in this lighting. Because it's like hard to even do my makeup period in this lighting. But you know, we gotta do what we gotta do to look cute around here. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going in with the Maybelline Superstay. I really like this one. Just because it's like a very buildable foundation. But you can also wear it more like sheer and show your skin through it. If you wanted to. To blend that out, I'm using a Morphe M444 brush. This one I actually just recently got. And um, so far I've been liking it. But my only thing is I need a brush for like little detail areas like under my eyes. And stuff like that, you know, around the nose area. Um... But I really like using brushes over sponges because I feel like it saves you so much more product and it gives you a lot more coverage compared to a sponge. It just kind of, you need to keep building it and building it and it takes longer and it just doesn't give you as much coverage. So yeah, it's not really my thing anymore. I mean, the funny thing is I used to use a sponge religiously. Um, but before I started doing that, I was actually using a brush. Like, I've always been a brush person to apply my foundation, I guess you could say. But then I, like, switched for the longest to a sponge. But now I'm back on the brush. I just didn't know what brush to buy, honestly. Okay, I'm actually liking how this is looking. I just need a little bit more coverage. On my cheeks because I have some redness and pimples on my chin and then um, after that I'm gonna clean my brows guys I'm trying to like serve looks in Miami so like all I've been watching are like pack with me for Miami or just videos like that I even tried looking up like lookbooks um, so I'm getting kind of also ideas for what I should film when I'm in Miami. I'm definitely going to be vlogging, so make sure you guys are subscribed and stay tuned for all the videos coming. Probably going to do like a get ready with me. Maybe show y'all my outfits. Like what I wore in Miami and just like kind of record my outfits. I still haven't found a birthday dress. I've literally been on the hunt for one. I have a specific vision in mind for what I want, but I can't find what I want anywhere. So, I may have to compromise. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. But, I don't know. If you guys know of any like websites that have cute like extra type of dresses let me know in the comment section below i'll definitely check them out um yeah i don't know i just kind of want something glittery maybe rhinestones i don't know something extra for sure because i'm gonna be going out the night of my birthday so you know i gotta I gotta go all out. I usually use a smaller brush under my eye, but I'm too lazy to grab it right now. 
All right, I gotta clean up on the top of these brows because <sighs> this is looking kind of crazy. I'm gonna just take the concealer brush I used before, grab some foundation and kind of just clean her right up. It's kind of hard to do though, cause you're like, you have to be super precise with this. Okay, so now that we got our base basically down, I'm gonna do some cream contour. I'm gonna do some of the KKW ones. I don't think I'm gonna do any powder contour today just cause for time's sake. I'm not really good at cream contouring my nose. I mean, I'm not good at contouring my nose in general, but whatever. I still try. Okay. And that's all that matters, ladies and gentlemen, is that you try. Because practice makes perfect. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and blend this out because I just wasted like 10 years recording my eyebrows, basically. Alright, so now it's for time for my least favorite part, which is setting. Because my loose powder just makes a giant mess. So what I like to do to try to prevent that as much as possible is I put it on top of like a baby wipe. And I open it on there. So that any powder that spills, spills on top of it and then I can just throw out the baby wipe after it. I'm just going in with this little brush to make sure that there's no creases under my eyes before I apply a powder on top of it. I'm going to use a different brush to apply the powder. Then I'm going to take any powder left over in the lid to just kind of clean up. I usually use a sponge, but like I said, we're not going for like anything too dramatic or perfect. And then any excess left on the brush, we're just gonna kind of pat on the rest of my face. I'm not good at doing get ready use with me. This is honestly like a light beat makeup tutorial type. But I can't call it a makeup tutorial because the lighting is terrible, so I don't know what this is gonna be. But it's gotta be sunny, cause that's all I'm saying. Okay, so now I'm going in with Max Mac Fix Plus. I'm running kind of low. I need to get some more. I'm gonna go in with Am Resi today from EVH just for more of a natural glow from within type of vibe this is just like a wet like just glow from within highlighter and I really really love it like I highly recommend this one and then the Kylie one but the Kylie one is discontinued it was like a loose highlighter in the shade BG so but they discontinued it for some weird reason which is kind of upsetting because that was about a order the other shade which is Santorini but they were gone so now I'm gonna spray a little more of this just to make the highlight pop out and I'm gonna go in with the next dewy setting spray dewy finish So I can get a dewy finish because that's what I like. Now I'm gonna add mascara. This mascara is like dried out. But whatever. Guys, we're almost to the finish line, which I couldn't be happier about. Sometimes I'm like, I don't want to get ready, you know, but then I see myself and I'm like, Sam, who is that? Because I missed her. I really did. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna finish up with some eyebrow gel per usual. This one's from NYX. It's the Control Freak one, which honestly describes me. So it's the perfect eyebrow gel for 
me, if you know what I'm saying. Now I'm gonna put on some clear gloss for this natural beat. So it's basically dark out now and I'm gonna have to film this lookbook with my studio lights. So that's great. But at least we're ready and we can go film this lookbook and edit it and get it up before Valentine's Day because it's a Valentine's Day like outfit idea type of video. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me slash makeup tutorial slash I don't know. Um please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos like i said i'm gonna be in miami so i'm gonna be putting out a lot of content um this month next month every month you know so subscribe stay tuned hit the bell notification button if you want to be notified every time i upload but i will advertise it on my socials so follow me on instagram um i'll have it down in the description and i'll have it like somewhere on the screen so you guys can go follow your girl I guess that's all i had to say but anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!